Now to more of our ABC News exclusive with John Bolton, the former national security advisor, responding to those attacks by President Trump over his explosive new book. Bolton called the president unfit for office, and he is sounding the alarm about a second Trump term. Chief Global Affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz has more in Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Michael. President Trump is trying to block the release of this book, and his lawyers will be battling it out with John Bolton's attorneys at a telehearing later today. But in the meantime, Trump himself is taking aim directly at Bolton. The name calling from President Trump, schoolyard quality, labeling his former hand-picked national security advisor a wacko and calling his new book a compilation of lies and made-up stories. But Bolton, in comments to ABC, just brushing it off. I think it's uh, unbecoming of the office of president. I think it degrades the political civil discourse in our country, and I'm just not going to respond to it. Bolton says he is not surprised that the president is taking legal action, but he does not believe the book contains classified material, as the president has claimed. When I wrote the book to begin with, I was very conscious to avoid putting in anything that I thought could be deemed classifiable. The president isn't worried about foreign governments reading this book. He's worried about the American people reading this book. The book out June 23rd is jaw-dropping. And so are the conclusions that Bolton came to, telling us about that in our exclusive interview. You described the president as erratic, foolish, behaved irrationally, bizarrely. You can't leave him alone for a minute. He saw conspiracies behind rocks and was stunningly uninformed. He couldn't tell the difference between his personal interests and the country's interests. I don't think he's fit for office. I, I don't think he has the competence to carry out the job. There really isn't any guiding principle uh, that I was able to discern other than uh, what's good for Donald Trump's reelection. It is the election that Bolton is now worried about as well, fearing a second Trump term will remove the political guardrails, saying a second term Trump will be far less constrained by politics than he was in the first term. With hundreds of thousands of copies of the book already shipped to warehouses and the publication date just days away, it will be very difficult to stop the book's release. But the president is not giving up yet. Michael? Hey, Martha, overnight, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he piled on. He had a fierce response about this. He sure did. Mike Pompeo does come up numerous times in the book, including Bolton saying the Secretary of State had considered resigning several times. But Pompeo now releasing a statement saying Bolton is spreading a number of lies, fully spun half-truths and outright falsehoods. In our interview, by the way, Michael, Bolton does say they had their disagreements at times. I'm sure they did. All right. Thank you so much, Martha. And Martha's full exclusive interview with John Bolton is airing in a one hour special this Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC. And John Bolton will be here on GMA for his first live interview after the special on Monday morning. Bolton's book, The Room Where It Happened, comes out June 23rd. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.